do our New Year's resolutions always crash and burn? In fact, I'll bet you 50 bucks you can't go the whole year without making fun of us. You know what? Better get a week. I'll take that bet, my friend. And you know what? Paying me the 50 bucks can be the new thing you do that day. <laughs> and it starts right now. <laughs> oh, yeah, those pesky resolutions, why are they so hard to stick to? Well, apparently the key to keeping them is to trick your own brain. Mm. Apparently it can be done, and here to talk more <laughs> about how to do that is author of the book, The Resiliency Revolution, Your Stress Solution for Life, 60 Seconds at a Time, Jenny Evans. Jenny, welcome to Emotional Mojo. Great to be here. Thanks we for We could use me. you here. We could here. use yeah. this a lot. Yeah, we were talking about this earlier because in your book you talk about there are two brains, a caveman brain and a modern brain. Now tell us about this theory. What does that mean? Yeah, so <laughs> as we evolved, we didn't get like a new brain. We had our old brain and then our advanced brain got kind of plopped on top. So I like to call a caveman brain Sneaky Pete. He's the reason, <laughs> he's the reason why, you know, like we'll, you know, lose our mind and say something like we might later regret to yeah. a coworker or why we say we're gonna start Ooh. eating clean, but like by 3.30 we have our, our hand in a coworker's candy stash. But the, the deal is, Tara, is that you? <laughs> She's got a candy jar. She, she sits there staring it. at yeah. us all day. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody comes to it. <laughs> yeah. But the thing is, you guys, the Sneaky Pete is really not all that bad because he just really represents our primitive stress response, and he's hardwired to protect us. So in the book, I really kind of talk about, like, Sneaky Pete's a little bit misunderstood, and when we really understand what he's trying to do, we can start to work with him instead of against him. Ah, okay. That makes sense. Well, yeah. what is he trying to do? Like, how is that affecting yeah, he's right really, So he's our fight or flight response. And so anytime we get stressed out, Sneaky Pete comes online and his job is to make us feel safe, comfortable, and secure. Okay. And habits give us comfort, safety, and security. Right. So when we try to change habits, that actually creates more stress and then we're pulled back to those habits that we might actually be trying to change. Okay. So the key is you have to trick Sneaky Pete to get with the program. Mm. Okay, so it's not just about willpower because you know, I. A nutritionist, I work with a lot of clients, they're like, I just need more willpower. But you say it's more than just willpower. Yeah, because it's an easily exhausted resource. The more we use it, the less of it we have. Right. Okay. So how we can help Sneaky Pete really help us is to create microclimates of what I call optimal defaults because we're really influenced by our environments. Mm -hmm. So for instance, research found that like if you um, have an office job and you have a candy dish sitting right here on your desk mm -hmm. versus just, just over there like on the filing cabinet, yeah. you will eat more when it's right here versus when it's over so there. Proximity. Totally proximity, because Sneaky mind. Pete sees food, right. he's hardwired to, to get it while you can. <laughs> get out of there, I know. Pete. So we have a list of some of these optimal defaults yeah. that you gave us some examples, and I'm sure we can show them to the viewers at home. Using smaller plates, on the phone, on your feet. I like that one. But that's your hmm. signal to stand up, because yeah. a lot of us sit for really long periods of time, and we know it's really dangerous for our health, it's stressful. Um, so that's your signal to just take that call and move around while you're on the phone. Okay. Remind okay. yourself to move, keep healthy reminders. So like you can set, you know, your phone to go off every now and then or something, right? Mm -hmm. like, get up. like having a snack buddy and at like 10 o'clock you guys meet every day and that's you have your quick snack, you get a little recovery break. Um, nice. You know, in the smaller plates, I always tell people, like, eat your ice cream out of a wine glass. Because if you put just, like, a little bit Fancy. in a big bowl, I Sneaky know. Pete's like, that's all I get. <laughs> <laughs> but if you put it in a wine glass, Sneaky Pete's it like, it's the full. full. It's yeah. you know, and you feel elegant doing it, right? Or a martini huh? glass. Yeah. 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 That works with alcohol, too. I'm just going to, and, you know, I haven't drank in quite a right. long time, so I'm always thinking about it. But martini glass, it's so hard to drink, and there's not as much in there. I think that would help yeah. you. You're tricking yourself. Yeah. 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 Awesome yeah. stuff. All right. Well, I want to thank you for joining us. Definitely. You guys can get yeah. more tips in Jenny's book. It's available in bookstores and it's online. Or you can visit her website at ph-performance.com. Check that out. This could be the key to finally keeping our resolutions. All right. right? We're going to do it. I'm in.